So welcome back everybody. Let's just pick up where we left off. We're currently on page 23 of the user guide and we're going to have a look at importing an Excel file. Previously, we had a look at how we link Excel data into the data model. This time, we're going to import some Excel data. So if the data is in a separate file or has several thousand rows, it's probably best practice and advisable to import into the data model rather than linking to it. So we're in the data model window. So from the home tab under the get external data, we're going to choose from other sources. It still beats me every time that we have to go to other sources and scroll all the way down to the bottom under text files to, to select Excel data. And then we just click on next. This should look quite familiar now to you. And we click on browse and I'm in the Power Pivot and DAX folder, and I'm going to select Region Managers and click on OK. Really important here, chaps, to remember to tick Use First Row as Column Headers. There's no way to make that the default setting, unfortunately, so you always have to be mindful that you've selected that. And then we're going to click on Next. We've only got one sheet in the Excel file that we have selected. If there was multiple sheets in there, then you'd see it listed just like we did when we were selecting tables in Access, but we've only got one sheet. And again, we can select a preview and filter. This is the same data that we chose in the last exercise to link to the data model. So this is just really for demonstration purposes. We'd normally do this if we had thousands and thousands of rows of data. So we're going to say OK because we're not filtering or deselecting any of our columns of data and we'll just click on finish. We've only got four rows. So we're going to click on close. The region manager shows up with a one appended to it because we already have a link table called region managers. Our next logical step would be to select diagram view and then we would create the necessary relationships. So really quick and easy to achieve, guys. I think you'll agree it's very logical. Once we know how to get data into our data model via the Get External group, it's fairly intuitive as to what to do. So I just want to demonstrate to you, just for peace of mind, that the imported data, if it is changed at source, how that is updated in our data model. So I've opened up Region Managers in the Excel window and I'm just going to add another record. So if I put in here my home country and I'll just add myself. Now I'll just close that down, I'll save that. If we go back to the data model, we'll go to data view. So I'm on the region managers. Now this is the file that we've imported and I've just changed. And if I just click on refresh, it's telling us now that there were four rows. So this is looking positive, guys. This is looking good. There's now five rows of data transferred. And if I click on close, there we go. OK, so just recap there. I changed the underlying data, came back into the data model and just clicked on refresh. I'm going to go back into diagram view. And I think you'll agree here that it makes no sense for us to keep this region managers data that we've just imported in the data model because we already have it here as a linked file. So I'm just going to click on it and delete. I'm going to delete it from the model. Let's just go back to data view. And as we would expect, the table has been removed. So a nice little short exercise for us. I think our confidence is growing. We're getting a handle on this now. And to prove that, over to you again now with the practice exercise on page 24. Just building and consolidating again, embedding the knowledge that you've gained so far. So have a go at that guys. And the next time I'll see you will be in the solutions video for practice exercise number three. And I'll see you then.